Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In the last video, we talked about how we can implement CDC, how to do SCD1 or SCD2 in the Delta Live tables, right? Now in this video, we will talk about append flow. This is one, one of the feature again given by the Delta Live tables, which is used to ingest the data from multiple tables, right? So it means like if I have one or more tables, right? Let's say table one and table two. Okay, let's say this is my table one and this is my table two. Now I wanted to ingest the data from both the tables and store it in a single table, right? How to do that, right? So that is something being possible with the help of append flow. Okay, that's where append flow comes into the picture. Now, when I mean in the real world right when exactly we will be using it right so mostly whenever you you will be doing the aggregation and all right you will be using this particular function right let's take an example you might have a table that compi that combines the regional data from multiple reasons right but again later on one new reason came into the picture right one data is coming from one more new reason right then at that time you wanted to append this data as well in the same table right you don't want it to disturb the existing flow right so at that particular moment you will be using or you can use this append flow right or if you wanted to load historical data right i think append flow will be a great feature there okay now i'll, I'll switch over to databricks workspace and i'll quickly show you how actually you can achieve it okay so there is the same notebook which i have created in the last session or last recording if you remember so this is the library which i have imported then the schema the cloud file options and i am creating one streaming table right with the help of read stream by reading the files from the volume and i am creating another table which is silver layer let's say and then i am performing sad2 here right we, we already talked about this right so i'll not uh, kind of make it uh, again i'll use the same notebook okay and what i will do as i said right let's suppose you will be receiving the data from multiple source right one new source came into the picture so what i will do i'll create another table here okay let's say bronze load historical or something okay history so now this history will load from some other source right so i have one more volume with me source 2 which has one file day 3 so what i'll do i will add this day 3 file here i mean i'll just change this volume okay so we have one more source here from where we are reading the files now we have one table the target table in the silver right and then we have another table which is load which also have some data which we wanted to append into the target table right in one more subsequent layer or you can think of right so let let me create another dlt right i told you in the last session how to create another table directly without adding any data so dlt create oh, okay my my cluster is off that's why i'm not getting the suggestions so i'll start it okay but in meanwhile i'll keep writing the code so let's say this is the format you can use delta create streaming table and you can name it as like let's say it's a final streaming silver load okay now the table is ready right i created the table by writing this much of code you are actually creating the table but this table will not have any data right so how to append the append the data from silver table okay this silver load as well as from the bronze load history the one which we created newly right so we have that function right the one which we are talking about dlt dot append flow now again the because of cluster i'm, I'm not able to show you the suggestions but this is how it looks like right you can use append flow and then inside append flow uh, function you have to pass one parameter target now where you wanted to store it so this is my final table i wanted to store it here right and then from which table i wanted to retrieve the data right so let's say i create one function diff 
state state uh, maybe a silver load or something right I can name it it is just a function it's not even a table so I'll say dot read underscore stream or you can write read stream as well that is also fine okay it's up to you then you can use your silver load table here that's it you are good to go uh, you have to return it anyways that type right so wherever you are using the tables right you have to return some values even in the views even in the uh, materialized view right so you have to have a return statement in outs outside the function okay inside the function i mean to say in a similar way i will create another one and i will say target will be same but my source will be different in this case so the source will be branch load history okay so one i am reading the data from silver table the other i am reading the data from the branch load history table okay and let's change this function name here i will say stage history okay the rest of the code will be same that's it we are good to go now let me run this code apply changes in dld okay let's check the pipeline setting if everything is fine apply changes in dld yeah we are good to go so i'll do a full refresh here and we'll see the workflow right we'll see the flow chart how exactly it will be created so initialization is started okay so in this particular code we have a cd as well i mean cdc as well we have append flow as well and in the next video what i will do i will create an end to end pipeline with the help of dlt which includes your expectations as well and few other features which we didn't talk about till now okay so okay it will take little bit of time maybe 30 40 seconds more and then it will start resetting the tables and setting up the new tables as soon as it will start setting up the tables you will see the data sets will be created with the help of delta live table so yes setting up the tables will is started you see here data set life cycle started branch load history final and these are all the flow processes right now let's see the flow diagram how it's actually created my bad yeah so if you see uh, let me just remove this little bit to get a clear picture so if you see here my bad yeah so if you see here we have one branch load which is again doing an upset in the silver and then we have a history load and then we are merging i mean not merging basically we are appending the records from both the tables into a final table right so that's how you are getting 26 records from by combining the records from these two tables and this is how basically you can use your append flow in delta live table so i hope this video will be helpful for you guys Let's meet in another video. Thanks. Thanks for watching the video. Bye.